And we have entered that world in which the masters of the wisdom can be found, because their ashrams are particularly upon the buddhic plane in most cases. And so we are receptive to that world now. And we try to think of the Great Ones not as personalities, but as great centers of energy, the heads of their various ashrams on the buddhic plane and even beyond. These ashrams ultimately flow through our seven centers according to the law of the supplementary seven. Rule eight. And the great ray lords are behind all that, operating from monadic levels in Shambhala. The great lords, we seek to attune to the energy they represent. We are lords of ceaseless, persevering devotion, being reabsorbed into our originating motive. That motive had the power of devotion to descend on a great pilgrimage of redemption to unite spirit and matter consciously. We awaken to that originating devotion which came in relation to Virgo and Jupiter And we attune with the great lords, first the lord of all lords for us, the teacher of like, the teacher alike of angels and of men. We offer our salutations, our solidity, our cooperation to the Christ. Oh. Salutations to the Christ, the Master of all Masters. We offer our salutations to the Triangle of Masters with whom we work most closely. Master M, Master KH, Master DK. Then individually, first to Master Moria, the head of all esoteric schools and organizations. Master Kudhumi, the coming Christ of the age of Capricorn, and the Chohan most responsible for preparing for the reappearance of Lord Maitreya. Salutations to the Master K.H. Then to Master Joel Kuhl, 
who has given us the Bailey teachings and is training us and others as aspirants towards initiation. Oh. Salutations to the Master DK. And then to the particular master, whether already mentioned or not, with which, with whom we feel the greatest affiliation, and with whom we imagine our future destiny lies. Oh. Salutations to the Master, to whose ashram we ultimately belong. And finally, to the entire spiritual hierarchy of our planet. Oh. Salutations to the Great White Lodge, the Great White Brotherhood, the spiritual hierarchy of our planet. And along the Antikarana, we extend our imagination towards the center where the will of God is known. With deep attunement, with deep reverence and humility, identified together as group soul, we attune imaginatively to the presence of Sanat Kumara standing at the very center of Shambhala. Imbuing all true seekers and seeking groups with the presence of the divine will and silently inwardly we sound that long attuning ohm as we imagine the group attuned with his energy receptive imbued imaginatively within this downflow of divine purpose, planetary purpose, planetary will, utilizing the Antikarana that we have visualized, the group Antikarana, from the center, from the heights, the divine energy flows. And as a unit, a united group, we can work together to receive and transmit this energy now increasingly available as the Virgo full moon approaches. We are as a point of light, we are as a point of love, we are as a point of power. 
see us not as many, but as one point, a radiant point, as if poised just above a flowing golden stream, a pathway leading to the indigo center of a blazing sun. And the pathway into the indigo sun shortens and shortens, and we together as a point of light travel with it. We are one group being traveling on that golden path, inward, inward, until it enters the indigo disk as do we. We are in the indigo sphere, imaginatively. And from there, we will seek to be imbued especially by the energy, the presence of Master DK, who is, for all intents and purposes, our major teacher at this time. merging with his mind, his heart, his will, as we extend our thoughts inward and upward towards the sources of energy at the time of this Virgo full moon. And it is as if his presence or consciousness assists us in our group thought, our group reception and distribution of the energies available. The energies emanating from the three planetary rulers and the two veiled rulers, energies of Mercury yellow buddhic mercury, the exoteric ruler, conveying acute, discriminative intelligence in the field of matter form. And we will attune with the moon, the esoteric ruler, representing the threefold form and its potential for purification the better to embody the Christ principle. And we will be sensing Vulcan etheric physical strengthening and vitalization, and Neptune, emotional attunement to booty, Vulcan and Neptune behind the Christ principle, behind the moon, conveying spiritual will and the fires of the heart, conveying endurance, Vulcan, in the process of birthing the Christ consciousness, which is indicated by Neptune. Vulcan and Neptune. Failed at present by the condition of our lunar natures, but as they are refined, Vulcan revealed, Neptune revealed. Vulcan and Neptune in opposition. The law of sacrifice and death. 